the audience that are here today are first of all they're fantastic in that they've come to the event for the next two days um, taking time from their business to come and learn uh, I think people are really really hungry to know more about social media and how they can integrate it into promoting their business the message I delivered today was really about leadership and how it's very important to be able to tolerate failure, to be able to survive the trolls, to keep putting yourself out there no matter what. And uh, I used the uh, Dancing Guy video, I used the full video of that, which actually shows him before he's successful, how many times he actually has a full start before he actually gets that traction that made him so famous. So when I did my workshop on digital PR, the, there was a full house almost, and it was fabulous to see the, the faces, uh, they were really engaged, um, lots of people taking notes and when I finished my workshop my Twitter was on fire so I got lots of feedback and I shared my material with everyone. Most people look at video as a tool as the same whether you're watching a television show, a film or something online on YouTube or on Facebook when in fact video depending on where you're applying it is as different as words. The message was about making money from social media. People need to understand that process and I was taken through that process process of going from a tweet or a Facebook update all the way through to making money and I think people appreciate a really practical session and a lot of practical tips that they took away from it. Many of us feel overwhelmed and so I wanted to share some social media tools that make your life easier, that can cut through the noise, make you more efficient and productive. So I shared eight tools and, and how to become more efficient. The thing that really stood out for me with the audience yesterday was the sense of connection and community of um, people starting to meet one another and starting to build relationships already. Um, and I think for my session it was about creating fun and actually kind of simplifying techno talk and uh, building connections within the room. It's, it's a great opportunity to meet and um, network. Network as well, I sometimes is overused, but in terms of the last two days, I've got so much in kind of new friends, new connections I've made, and not only connections, but people that I'm going to do business with in the future. Here at the Social Media Summit in Ireland, in Dublin, my first time here, but fabulous people, smart, generous, willing to share, uh, reach out, make connections. They know what's going on. I'm just charged up to be here. There are things that give you energy, things that take energy. I don't need to sleep when I'm here. People wanted to learn about the key trends of social media. People wanted to learn about what the new tools were. But I suppose they also wanted to learn things on a higher level about how they can find a good purpose, how they can tell great stories, and how they can use the social tools to resonate with people. My gosh, there was such a buzz here today. Um, it was incredible to look at people and see. There was such a buzz around the room from the very first presentation that we sat in this morning. People were excited, excited to be here. I would say grab your ticket now for next year because it's such a fantastic opportunity to hear world-class speakers here in Dublin instead of having to go to the States or England. It's just brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I've done kind of events and stuff before, but nothing to disagree, and especially with your peers. And the previous speakers to me were so good. <laughs> it was a lot to live up to. So the audience enthusiasm, and you know, when you look at people and they're smiling back at you, uh, it was great encouragement and, and it, it gave me the emphasis to keep going and to go on and to be a bit bolder. It's important to keep yourself educated and stay on top of what's working and what's not. And I hope to come back next year. So I hope to see everybody from Ireland. I think the Irish people are the most friendly people I've ever met in my life. I was a bit skeptical, thinking it's going to be the first event, let's see what happens. And somehow they have managed to put together a great event. The quality of the speakers, the quality of the content, people are really engaged. I mean, we've been training topic today and that's fantastic. And besides, most of these events happen usually in other countries, in UK and the States. The fact that Ireland is stepping in into the scene, it's really fantastic. So really guys, don't miss the opportunity. The people's passion for how social media really is going to empower them, instead of really kind of a lot of the events I go to, people are either a little skeptical or they think they know everything. This, this environment, you know, the conversations in the hallway were worth their weight in gold, even if I wasn't on stage. So I, I definitely recommend. This team has put together an incredible gathering of amazing speakers in their very first year. I'm waiting for next year just to see what there's going to be because it can, it's, it's, I think it's going to be fabulous. And I think that now they've gotten their credibility. I see the crowd doubling and tripling of the amount of people that are here. Uh, and I see speakers wanting to be here rather than coming here just because Samantha Kelly is someone that they love and adore and they want to support her. Having Ted Rubin on the stage in the Aviva in Ireland was a huge dream of mine. Um, about three years ago, I had put him on my vision board, bring Ted Rubin to Ireland, and we did that today.